Hello everyone and welcome to iOpenTCGs, the channel where I open TCGs. I know, I know, I said Flesh and Blood was coming soon, but my Flesh and Blood boxes were delayed, unfortunately. But I happen to have another case of Sorcery Contested Realm. So we are on episode number 13 for our chase of season two. We're looking for the Step Curio. Again, if as I always say, uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, I suggest you do. There's quite a lot of them, um, but it kind of helps you understand the journey. You know what I mean? The mindset. Um, if anything, you can watch the last six episodes because uh, they all kind of are case by case. Um, it, I went a little crazy, okay? I went a little crazy. Um, and I actually was planning to make one really long video and open an entire case uh, instead of separating it into different episodes, but I ultimately decided against that because um, I I kind of wanted to open a whole case, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to spam everybody with six more episodes, you know. Um, but we are going to do it episode by episode just in case. I, would, I didn't really plan to be uh, opening for the long haul, I guess. Um I did turn up the brightness in this room and I feel like it's too much. Uh, give me one second. I know I can cut all this stuff, but yeah. I can't tell if that's better or not, but uh, here we go. We got our first card, which is the Gilded Aegis. Our first unique... Um, here we go. It's crazy that it actually, I can see my phone now. I kind of changed it so I can see my phone and it looks really good through the phone, but for some reason it's so bright on my screen, my computer screen. Don't know. Well, let's hope it works out for our second pack. We have another unique, very, very different than our last cases where we were getting the uniques really, really, really late. Um, I am interested in pulling a foil so I can kind of see if this uh, is a front half or a back half. Maybe I won't find out for a little while. Three packs, three uniques. We got ourselves an immolation for our third one. So far... Not great. Not great to use three of our chances on those cards, but hey. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Um, I am at this point kind of, oh, okay, I'll make that point later. Four packs. We got a naked man on the front. And we got a naked man for our uniques. And you know what that means, baby. We got ourselves a Philosopher's Stone. Fuck yes. All right. Whenever you pull the stone, that means everything else in the case is gravy. And I love that feeling, especially getting it early. Love it so, so much. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say at this point, we're opening sorcery for the EV, you know, to open enough so that I can sell. So that I can buy more boxes. Because like I said, the goal is to open. What is going on here? Fifth pack. Fifth unique. Ultimate horror. Oh, I just love the art on this one. It's like sometimes an artist will just go fucking ham on detail. And this is the definition of let's just go ham on the detail. I love it. Um... But yeah, um, I know there are some other box openers that maybe talk about playing the game and uh, admiring the art, which I do sometimes. Okay, six box, six packs, six uniques. And we are getting some that I was not getting in the previous Master Case I opened. So in the first 12 episodes, I don't even know if I pulled a Baldass, Captain Baldass, or a Doomsday device. 
We're getting some different ones here. And for our first foil, okay, so this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a kind of a weird one. That's like a middle. So I, I'm not really sure what type of box is going to be, but we got ourselves an earthquake foil. Something that we have seen quite a lot, but it is an elite, so I will take that. All right, next pack here. Are we going to get our last unique? We are Cerberus in Chains. Again, another one that I just really did not pull in the last master. So, again, if you don't know, sorcery, very, very clumpy, very clumpy <laughs> in all respects. Just clump city in, in everything. And for this, ooh, okay, hold on. Let me count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the seventh slot, which is weird again but i say ooh because this is a foil that i need um i've opened a lot of boxes and i've only ever opened one of these so very happy to see that because at this point if i can open the rest of the foils that i need that would be so nice that would be so nice um all right man the first this this has been pumping it's crazy that all seven, see, I've never seen that happen. All seven uniques were in the first seven packs on the right side. I have never seen it happen. I, it's gotten close before. Like, I've definitely pulled, like, five real quick, but never all seven. All right, well, we, unless this is an error pack, we know there's not going to be another one there. So now it's on foils. Again, there are nine foils that you get usually in a box i would say 97 percent of the time it's nine foils but i have had boxes with eight and i have had boxes with more by accident and i and i don't mean the extra one was a curio um but i, I think there was a box i got once with like 14 foils in it it was just really weird um so clumpy mistakes but a very interesting start very interesting start so what i have started doing is instead of buying master cases which again is like it's two cases together in one box for 12 boxes total i am now just buying six boxes and that is to kind of try and and mitigate the clumpiness I know if I get a really good clump, the the master case might be like the best thing in the entire world. But when you get a bad clump, that's also not good. So to kind of spread out my luck, I've been trying to, like I'll buy a case and then later on I'll buy another case. Spread it all out. Um, but it has been a lot harder to sell the cards. I think I mentioned that a couple times before and it's still true today as I'm recording this honestly I wasn't supposed to open this case uh, it was meant to be uh, put it in the closet and just in case Team Covenant runs out of beta that's what this one was supposed to be but my flesh and blood situation is all fucked up and uh now I'm here. Now I'm here. But right now, we are an empty ass city. We pulled the seven, we pulled the two foils, and it is nothing else at all. That's kind of what happens. That is kind of what happens. Um... I am recording this a couple days after I recorded the first 12 episodes. But I, I'm i trying to only upload two episodes per day. So it might be a while before we get to this one. But please let me know. Again, I haven't heard anything bad about the uh, up top camera versus the down below camera. So that's good. I am a little worried about this video specifically. 
but it might just be because my computer monitor's brightness is turned way the fuck up. I think it like reset or something in it and it put it in like super bright for bright mode. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my life. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you could even see anything going on. Cause like I'm looking in at my computer and it just, everything looks really washed out, but on my phone, it looks crispy. So still no foils. We are such a weird predicament here. Okay. So now we're back to the six slot, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, instead of seven. And we got ourselves something that's shown itself so many times on this channel, the poisonous dagger. I have so many of you, sir. Let's just hope we don't get like seven more in this case. I don't know why thinking a unique is going to come up, but okay. All right. We got ourselves a unique foil. We got ourselves a maelstrom, not the greatest from a value perspective, I believe, but I'm actually not sure if I need this. I might need it. I might need it, uh, but this is the maelstrom. Always good. You know, like I said, even though it's may not be the most value, some are $30, some are $1,000. Um, still good to see one. Maelstrom. All right. I'll take it. Maybe it'll clump together and I'll get a couple of land ones, but, uh, or site ones, sorry. We got five more. Five more to go. Okay, I guess it's all the top ones, or uh, this is the first half of the of the of the print run since everything's in the sixth position. We have Monster Hunter. I don't get this one too often. That's why I kind of stared at it for a little bit. I was like, "What is that, Monster Hunter?" And yes, every foil is full art on the back. Um, I know I just flipped over only the Maelstrom, but ooh, this card's been pretty dinged up in the corner there. All right. And there. I am due for a curio. And I feel like because I know I'm due for a curio, I'm definitely not going to get one. But it has been over 50 boxes since I've opened my last curio. So, you know what? Ooh, oh, is this a Geist? It is a Geist. It is another land unique or a site unique. Okay, I'll take a Geist wood foil. This one I think is in the middle. Not too bad. Of course, you know, it's up here in the upper right, but Geist wood foil. Okay. Uh, there are some unique uniques I've pulled quite a lot of, and uh, Geist wood is not one of them. Neither is Maelstrom, so... Interesting, interesting. All right, is, are we going to get another site-based unique foil? Maybe a Mirror Realm again. That would be hot. Oh, man. Getting two foil uniques and a Philosopher's Stone in a box, that's a fucking crazy box. Now I want to open the rest because if it's clumpy in the good way could be insane or this could be the only good box in the case and the rest is poo, poo that has also happened but let it be known that this is an insane box right now it's an insane box that could have been even crazier imagine if these were foil cores or even a foil stone or i got another core here like The high roll, man. In this game, the high roll is insane. All right, nothing here. So we have three more foils. 
Maybe six more packs? Get the Hounds. Wall of Ice. In there. All right. Windblast. Red all swing. Some more nudity there. Game does love nudity. A lot of people are like, oh, it's a throwback to old school. And it's like, I guess. I guess. Ooh, this is going to be that crossbow, isn't it? Yes, it is. We got exceptional true sight crossbow, the orangiest of all orangey cards here. I think I might need this one too. So you know what? Take that. Could be wrong. All right. Three more packs, two more foils. Can we get something crazy? And put this box in one of the all-time, all-time greatest boxes. Okay, it's a real bright one. What is this? Oh, okay. Harpies, Claymore of Harpies. Eh, not too crazy, but it's all good. We have already won enough. We have already won enough. All right, two more packs, one more foil. Is it in this one? It is. It's a sight. It is. Oh my fucking God. Okay. Another unique foil sight, Vesuvius. Again, I don't believe this is a huge hitter price wise, but. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Even though, even then, the clump, man, not only are they all three uniques in one box, that's fucking crazy. Again, the average, if you don't know, is 0.5 per box. It is guessed. That is a guessed number. But to get three in one box is crazy. And then all of them being sites is also crazy. All right. We got last pack magic here. Can we add a curio to that list of craziness? We cannot. Oh, I do have finish up the Vesuvius pack. All right, nothing in there. Okay. Well, let's do a little recap here. We got ourselves. Did we get any ordinaries? I don't think we did. Yeah. So we got four exceptional no sorry five exceptionals including the vampire which i definitely know i need we got the earthquake foil and then we got three we got the red uh green and the blue we got the pokemon starter uh unique foils actually insane and then that's already crazy most of these uniques i think are bottom tier but we got the stone that, uh, yeah. So I think what that means is there's going to be at least two or three dud boxes. And then if that happens, maybe I'm not going to feel as good about this box. But hey, if you're not like me and you want to buy just a single box, I'm telling you, the high rollability of sorcery is insane, but the low rollability of sorcery is also insane. So keep that in mind. That was box number one. I mean, after that, I got to do box number two next. So I'll see you in that one. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know you're watching. You know, I see views sometimes. I see watch times, but it's really the comments that help me out. So leave a comment if you can. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.